Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Um, plants are still doing great, but uh, it's time for another project. And I know it's a little late to be starting more projects on this thing, but it's something I had on last year's system, and I still have all the parts to do it. So why don't I go ahead and do it? And what I'm going to be making is just a uh, like a climate control system. So for that. Uh, I'm going to be using a household thermostat, a 12 volt emergency car heater, a 12 volt fan. So I have my heat, my cooling, and my control for it. And I'll be doing the wires and wiring it up so that um, we can put this inside the greenhouse and have some kind of climate control in there. So if you've ever upgraded the thermostat in your house, or you've ever done any kind of thermostat, programmed your thermostat even in your house, you might understand how this works. You're going to have a positive and a negative line. And uh, the thermostat will act as a switch between our battery and, let's say, the heater. So when the temperature in the greenhouse goes below a certain temperature, the switch closes, turns on the heater, and uh, we'll heat up the greenhouse. When the greenhouse gets to that temperature, the thermostat will register that, it will turn off the switch. So let's just get started. So I removed the car adapter plugs from the fan and the heater. Um, I don't have um, outlets for these to plug into in my system, but I do have a lot of extra cables like this, and these are computer cables to power fans inside your, your PC. And um, I'm going to use these as plugs, so I'm going to change these out for these, and they just plug in and unplug and it'd be a lot easier to use for the system than uh, the car outlets. So that's what I'm going to be using them for and that's why I took them off. Well, the fan works, but I should mention this heater is more really for proof of concept than anything else. I expect this thing to use a lot of power when it does turn on, and I just don't see myself really using it all too much. But the fan should work. It's a lot better than the other big one I had, so I ripped that one out, and uh, I think this one is a little bit more appropriate for the system. All right, so the last thing you need to do is just plug in the thermostat and we'll see if we can get that working. Just a few more wires to plug in and should be good to go. So all the wires are run, I just have to plug it into the thermostat and we should be able to test it right away. So I'll go ahead and screw in the wires for the AC as well as the heat and see if we can test this thing and get it to work.
basically that's all there is to it. Um, pretty simple and uh, gives you a little bit more control over what's going on in your greenhouse.